Here's a rundown on the most common airbags used in the hot rod market. Uh, this here is an Airlift Dominator D2500 Dominator Series. Airlift Dominator D2600. This is an SS7. And this is an SS6. Now, you can see that these two here are very similar in size. They're also very similar in spec. And these two here are very similar in size and very similar in specs. Um, now one thing that the Slam Specialties bag has over the airlift ones are these are actually a composite top end uh, so they're quite a bit lighter if that makes a difference to you. Um, the Slam Specialties bag does have about a half an inch more stroke uh, for the size of the bag. This is considered a 7 inch wide bag. This is a 7 inch wide bag. A 6 inch, 6 inch. Um, they're both very similar weight rating wise, but the Slam one is a bit more expensive. You're looking at like $30, $40 more a bag versus the Airlift one. So uh, really, they're both good bags. Um, what I like to do is just take a ba take the bags. I usually have a few of them on hand and see whatever fits best. Look, and I'll just show you a little example here. This is the Slam SS6. Now, if you look at that, that fits in the A-arm pretty good. Okay, so this might be what I use in the front because it fits in the A-arm without having to do extensive mods versus, say, this is an SS7. Now, this one isn't going to fit in that A-arm and lay out properly because this bag will actually compress and it'll fold down almost to this to level with this here so it actually overhangs um, when you compress it. Now it's the same basic deal here. Here's a D2500 by Airlift. You can see it's basically the same fit as the Slam Specialties bag. Uh, very similar again. And these are what they call double convoluted bags. You can see they have two different like little balloons and then there's sleeve bags which I'll show a picture of right here. Now, the double convoluted bags like the Slam Specialties SS7 and the Airlift Dominator D2600 are more common in the air ride world as far as um, hot rods like this. You can use the tapered sleeve style bags or whatever you want. You can use air struts. There's all sorts of different bags, but really it depends on the application. Now looking at these, you can see that they're pretty much identical in design in the sense that they have the same exact half inch port. Uh, they have the same mounting flange distance here. Now that's nice so you can have the same bracketry and switch bags easily. Now if you look, the bigger D2600 has a bigger mounting flange versus the D2500 has a smaller distance between the mounting flange. Now it's similar in a sense with the slam bags here. Larger, smaller. And then another difference between the slam bags and the airlift bags are actually on the bottom side here. Just a minor difference. Doesn't really make any difference. Um, as far as I'm concerned, but you can see these bigger bags here, the SS7 and the D2600, both have the three mounting holes equally spaced, and the D2500 only has one versus the SS6 has all three. So it just gives you a little bit more options. Uh, usually you're just gonna wanna use the one because that's the easiest to get to line up properly, um, but you can use the two or the three. Now another thing I wanna make note of, I don't actually have any eBay bags or cheap bags, but do not run eBay or cheap bags. They're total junk. You'll get a horse shit ride. They don't have as much travel. Um, they're just not a tri as tried and true. So avoid the eBay bags at all costs. That is not one thing you want to cheap out on. Uh, the Airlift Dominator bags are going to be your most cost effective bag uh, for the general use. The Slam is going to be the better bag for the upper end. Um, and I guess in my opinion. Now another thing that makes a difference is the width of the bag and um, obviously the stroke and strength at each PSI. As a general rule, the lower the PSI, the softer your ride is gonna be. So if you think about it just in terms of area, this bag here has less area than this bag here. So this bag here will have more cushion. Um, just think of it in that sense, you're gonna have more cushion for the pushing, just like if you think of a fat chick, more cushion for the cu <laughs> more cushion for the pushing with the wider girl. <laughs> Um, but anyways, so that's something to keep in mind. You always want to run the widest bag that you can so you can heat, have your lowest PSI for the softest ride. Nice riding cars usually have the biggest bag that they can fit. At about, well, it really depends, but anywhere from 40 to 50 PSI is going to be your best ride quality overall. I usually like to try and get them set up and then just kind of tacked into place and then set it at about 40 or 50 PSI and set ride height accordingly or whatever. Um, Again, ride height's just a just a term you work around. Uh, it's not really that important, but it's just a starting point for your suspension work. So I just got a bunch of brackets from airslamat.com. There's a bunch of different styles of brackets, so I'm just gonna bring you a rundown on uh, some of these different brackets. Now, all these up here I just got from Airslamat, and these here I've had. Um, now this here is an upper bag bracket. You can see the uppers are generally where the fitting goes for the air ride, so that one's different than, say, 
this here is a lower where it just has the bolt holes for the bolts themselves. This is an upper, it has the arms uh, bent into it so it's nice and strong. Uh, you can mount it either direction with this design because it's wide enough to fit a bag between the arms there, some of them are not. Um, and here is a different style top bracket, now this one is a three piece design. Here is the, the, the main piece and then here are the gussets which you weld on. Um, you can weld them on however you want, further out, further out the better. Um, but you can see this bracket here, since it's narrower than a standard bag, you actually have to have these brackets on top versus this one you can flip either direction. So there's a, two of the options from Air Slamet that I ordered. Um, they have more but I just kind of ordered what I thought might work best for me. Here's another one. Now this option came with the BC Fab kit that I bought a while back for another pickup. And you can see this one has a um, cope for a one and a half inch tube. So if you want to do a bag on bar you could do this set up here. And again this is an upper and it has the holes burned in it for a uh, D2500 or a D2600 or an SS6, SS7. Um, basically all the bags will fit this style mount. Now you can see that this one here has the holes the other direction versus this one here. Now this one here you have adjustability a little bit more this way than this one here. Um, this, it's, I mean, you got adjustability each each way, it's just different preferences. So those are all uppers. And here is just a regular flat disc upper, which you can either make, add gussets on like this, or whatever you got to do to make this work. Uh, these are usually about 3 16 to quarter inch. Some are thinner than others. Now here are some other lower bag brackets. Now this is for an axle. You can see that it has the cope for a three inch axle in it. Um, now this is important that there's legs high enough that you can still fit a bolt in here to uh, obviously bolt your bag up. So you can use the center hole, two outside holes, three holes, kind of whatever you want. Here's another lower, now this is a small lower so it's good for tight spaces like this A-arm here. You can see it fits in that A-arm well versus this bigger one here which you can see it fits in there but it's a little bit tight so I'd actually have to grind it to fit it in there properly. But those do the same same basic purpose. Um, this one here would be easier to add gussets onto this one than this one here. But again, it's all preference. Mm -hmm.